been a really good three weeks or so since we've been back from Tampa. Uh, the training's been good on land, but more importantly, we were able to use a lot of the technology, sort of information we collected from Tampa back on land. The Tampa trip is pretty valuable for us because we can collect a lot of data and we archive it and we can pull it up throughout our winter training for when we're back on land working on the machines or in the tanks to reference to the guys. So it's not just a, a one-off thing. It, it's a constant sort of development over the winter. We brought down uh, two technologies uh, with us that have been a huge boost. So we've been using um, First Beat, which is a heart rate monitoring system, which is really neat because we can measure it in real time and the, the heart rate bands, they give off a radio signal. We can pick it up in the motorboat and we can see the, the, the training zones that the guys are in and monitor how the workout's affecting each individual in the boat. And we can also track that to the trip, which is very cool because we can start to see how the workouts are stacking up for guys and how they're recovering and how we need to treat them in the workouts to come. Uh, and then we're also using the Peach system, which allows us to measure uh, wattage and stroke length uh, and also the acceleration and velocity of the boat. Okay. And so we can see how each individual is applying their work. And then we can also see how that, together with everybody else in the boat, how that is generating acceleration, deceleration, and, and the overall velocity of the hull. Something really neat on this trip that we were able to do was real-time feedback. So we set it up so that in the coaches launches, we had the screens up and running, and we could see the shapes of the curves. We could see their out, out, power output versus just referencing it back on land. What we're seeing is actually like in your curve as it comes up, it peaks pretty early. And it's like early enough that it's hard for you to sustain second half. And I think that's part of the reason why you sometimes feel like you want to come over it a little bit. It was, we could take 20 strokes and coach them through those 20 strokes or five minute pieces and see the feedback. Good Julian, this is a very nice change now. We're getting much nicer connection out of you at the finish. I think the big thing with this technology, it's yeah. another tool. It's another way for us to identify the positives for our athletes to help them understand the opportunities for improvement. Some kids learn really well when they can see a, an image of how it happens. And so it, it's allowed everybody to get that, that one more piece to understand. How does every, everybody get as much out of what they've got? And that's our focus.